Good morning. It's Friday, October 1st, 2010, and it's time for the Friday Fold. I've got a bunch of samples here in my office, so I'm just going to go pick one off the shelf. Alright, this is a pretty good one. This is a piece of the basement complex in southern Montana from the, the so-called Wyoming terrain. Some of the oldest rocks in the world and some of the oldest in the United States. Um, this is from the Gallatin Range. The Gallatin Range is a range of mountains directly south of Bozeman, Montana, in the Gallatin Valley. And you can see that the sample is characterized by coarse bands of light and dark minerals running across the rock from left to right. And that banding, that Nisic banding, has been folded. So what's interesting to me about this is that in order to produce that foliation in the first place, the rock has to be compressed from top to bottom, so uh, or you know from side to side if it were in this orientation. That compression, which is greater in that direction than in other directions, causes the minerals to line up and make the coarse grain nice expanding. But then that layering has to be compressed again from the sides in order to get the folding that takes place. So it basically tells us that these rocks were subjected to at least two episodes of deformation. The other interesting thing about this sample, and the reason I collected it, is you can not only see the folds from the side here, but you also get this three-dimensional expression of the folds, especially on the top surface there. It's pretty spectacular. A little bit less so on the bottom surface, but uh, definitely some, still some 3D expression of the fold. All right, so you can get a good sense of it there. And with that, I guess we, uh, we finish up our little session here. Happy Friday and ha happy October.